So here it is. This is the 1996 Honda Shadow VLX. And uh, this has the dual carburetor. So the customer wanted the peanut tank with uh, the root beer style um, color and also the vintage style tires with a yellow light. He also wanted a T-bar style bars. And so I did find something that I felt and so did he that looked really cool and complemented the look of the bike. We also, he also wanted um, to wrap the pipes. So we, I did that as well. So here's uh, some of the things that the bike had beforehand, which was, it was in by the ocean and the salt water, the salt air, I should say, uh, put a lot of uh, pits in the chrome. So I tried to do the best that I could to uh, remove some of that rust and, and um, algae, the green that was on there to kind of give it a better look. Uh, but the pit is going to remain. I mean, it's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and show the bike and let you know what it is that I did that I was talking about earlier about the rear tire. So let me do a walk around real quick. So you can see right there that I put the T-bars on there and I wrapped the, the uh, pipes. I also ended up putting this rear tire on there that's that vintage style right here and that is, as you can see, a car tire and this is a 560 15 and you could see that it has more of a flat surface rather than the rounded surface of a motorcycle tire. That was the only thing I was concerned about. So, this tank right here, this is a tank from TJ Brutal Customs that the guy ordered, and I went ahead and put it on. Uh, so here's the difference on the tire that I was telling you about. So again, this is that vintage style with that straight line uh, tread right there, but you can see it kind of rolls over, you know what I mean? Like a motorcycle should, where the other one is more flat surface, and that's what I was trying to find for the rear tire, and I just couldn't find it. Uh, I did find one and it ended up being for a 16 inch rim, which would be good for a Harley Davidson Sportster. So um, I can go ahead and save that. So when I do a Sportster, I can still use the, the brand new tire. Uh, the other thing that I was telling you about was the wrap on the, on the pipes. I went ahead and did that. And so on this one right here, um, I added these tips right here and just to let you know on these tips, the, the closer you get to the original pipe, which is, is the pipe's only about this big behind this heat shield. And uh, the closer you get the tips to that original, the louder it, it is. And I mean louder in a sense of like uh, uh, more high pitch. Now, I try to put it as far away as I could. So I think the pipe itself is about back here. Uh, and then it runs and it gives it a nice more lower popping sound pop, 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 rather than <laughs> anyways I don't know if that works for any help at all okay so uh, here's the t-bars and the t-bars that I bought uh, these are pretty cool they go ahead and fit onto the original risers okay and these risers right here they're just I'm talking about an eight maybe a sixteenth of an inch just off from fitting this uh, width right here. So what you do is underneath uh, the riser, which is down here underneath where the screw is, loosen the screws up a little bit on both risers and then you'll be able to kind of move them a little bit in and they'll give you that little bit of movement in and they'll be able to fit these t-bars right here then you go ahead and tighten them up after everything's done tighten everything up and then everything will be nice and tight and as you can see they're super tight you know so uh another thing i did with which the guy wanted he liked the t-bars but he felt like they were a little bit too long so i would say they were probably about out to here on both sides so when i ended up cutting off about an inch and a half from each end which brought it in a little bit more narrow and actually i think that was a great idea the other thing i was telling you that he wanted he wanted the yellow light so i found this yellow light and it also has a grill on it i haven't showed him the grill on it yet i don't know if he's gonna like it but I personally like it. I think it gives a good uh, match, you know, complement to the whole bike. So it's pretty cool and it was an easy fit. This one went ahead and fitted onto the to the um, forks right there. So I did again, I added these uh, 
brackets here to hook up these lights, which you can see from the front, they're very small. They're not very bulky. They don't stick out a lot. And it's perfect because they're black. You almost don't even see them as you're rolling down. The less stuff you see, the better it is, even though you still have the necessities uh, for being on the street. And again, on the back right here, you also have the two blinkers that I set on those brackets as well. Now, just to let you know that when you put those blinkers on there, which go on the swing arm, as you can see, they go on the swing arm like that. Um, this side will not work if you put the um, if you put the license plate bracket the opposite way, you know, turn it where it's vertical. And if you do it like that, it actually black blocks the blinker right here. So uh, putting it this way keeps it open. You got that little space right there to go ahead and get the people to know that you're making a change. Put it up. Give it a little rev. Okay, so that's it right there. Um, this is a 1996 VLX. So it's in great condition and I just finished it. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe. And if you have any questions, just hit me up. All right, guys, take care. This is Greg Maestro Beret. God bless. Not without God.